let me just forewarn people this is my first viewing of old so i may be a little too enthusiastic but uh i will we'll say my overall judgment is this is pretty strong i had come in expecting to say oh, this is kind of a disappointing follow-up and overall it has a few good moments but um yeah it's like lower tier to mid tier m night and no it's the complete opposite this is actually mid to great tier M. Night Shyamalan, it's not God tier, so it's just not glass, which I think is like a 9 out of 10. It's a little weaker than the Village, so I wouldn't say it's one of his best, but it is up there with the pretty good to great category. So I was stunned. I was like, wow, I expected kind of the worst. And I'm like, no, nope, he did not disappoint. Probably the worst aspects is some bit of cringe dialogue that's scattered here and there in the beginning and middle portions for the most part this holds up the plot holds up the characters are well done the dialogue is the usual m night Shyamalan kind of dialogue it's kind of like mm, it's a little iffy here and there but now overall i like the dialogue too and visually this is very very stunning it's very inventive you think well he only has a beach to work with him <laughs> what could he do with that he does a lot he does quite quite a lot with just even the restricted area he's working with so i thought that was very well done and it when everything came together with the characters it made sense why certain things happened the way they did why certain people met each other in the way they did it's it's very very well done and probably the great mark of a good director is how you can take a performer that i couldn't stand in something else and here I don't want to spoil even a little bit of what he's going to do, but I'll just say some of the young performers really stood out, and I did not like some of them in other projects, but here I really, really like them. So it just shows how the director and script are key to some to how you're going to look at a performance, and I think the performances were pretty uniformly really, really strong. Uh, the only thing I found a little bit suspicious is like some of the characters you will find familiar. If you have seen The Happening, and I like The Happening a lot, but I'd give that a kind of 7 out of 10. You'll find some of the characters he used there, they're kind of just being reused here. Like one character in particular, I was like, oh, this feels like The Happening all over again. But that was about it. I, I actually was really surprised. He's not really using old tricks. He's really trying to stretch himself. And he's being very imaginative. And some critics were saying, well, yeah, this is well done, but I would have preferred him to go much darker near the end at the conclusion. But no, the, the, the conclusion is fairly dark. I mean, I understand what they're saying, but it's very, very dark. I guess they wanted him to go like super nihilistic. I, I understand where they're going with that, but I felt he mostly kept to his own rules. It made sense. It progressed the way it should have. I, I don't see a problem. I'm not here to force M. Night to do the movie I wanted him to do. He did the movie he wanted to do, and he did a pretty excellent job. I'm like, I'm going to give this a 7.5. I'd give it a higher grade, but I know some things may not work for others. So I'm going to be fair minded to some part of the audience that would be like, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really dig where he's going with this. But I will say this, that a lot of people really torment him about his twists. Like the twists are incredible, but don't make sense. This one makes sense. The twist really makes a lot of sense. I'll just say that. But you will kind of be like, oh, I wish he did something even more experimental but then he keeps getting heavily criticized when he does that so this is him constraining himself a little bit here and there and i, I appreciated that but I, yeah, I would have preferred him doing something a little bit more crazy another warning is that this is surprisingly erotic there's there's quite a bit of nudity and quite a lot of erotic elements and i'm like hmm is that a hitchcock thing i'll just say it's not gratuitous so you think oh he's going a little overboard no you'll you'll understand like oh okay that's really interesting. So if you like that aspect about horror movies that you get to indulge in erotic imagery, you'll you'll appreciate this. I thought it was like, because again, M. Night is a conservative kind of guy, so he usually doesn't do that. So I'm like, hmm, oh, that was interesting. So he does have a few surprises here and there, like in terms of his style. If you think, oh, I know where this is going. No, no, you don't. He really does a good job of swerving at the right moments. And the music and the cinematography... The way it's very well united was pretty excellent. Don't believe the haters. This is a really, really strong film. Again, not one of his best, but far above middling and nowhere close to like, it's nowhere close to like After Earth, like one of his worst things ever. No, this is really, really solid. And if it was anybody else, you'd be like, wow, this is one of the best 
films of the year. And I think it may go into that list, not necessarily for the right reasons, because there's just not that many films, but very excellent. I understand haters and what they don't like about M. Night and sometimes they make fair points. I think they don't know what they're talking about. This was a very, very strong film. Don't deny yourself. And if it's a little too pricey to go to the theaters, just wait a while. It will eventually have a little bit of a lower price. But if you don't see it in theaters, you're going to miss out on some of like the little things he does. And there's a lot of Easter eggs. I just caught a few of them near the end, but I'm sure if I go back to it, there are a lot of Easter eggs if you're a big fan of Hitchcock and horror, as well as Kubrick. So it depends, I guess, if you want to keep giving M. Night a chance. You really should. This will not be disappointing. And that's my judgment of Old by M. Night Shyamalan. Thank you for listening.